Hello astronomy enthusiasts, today we will talk about an impressive discovery. Chinese scientists have found water molecules in samples brought back by the Tiangay 5 mission. Most surprisingly, the mission landed far from the moon's poles, where water was thought to be concentrated. This suggests that water may be present in areas with lots of sunlight, which is vital for future lunar missions. And it could change our understanding of the distribution of water on the moon. China has a solid lunar exploration program known as the Chang'e program, which has already carried out several successful missions. Each Chang'e mission has specific objectives, and Chang'e 5 and 6 missions brought lunar samples back to Earth to be analyzed recently, a paper published in Nature Astronomy. He revealed that water molecules were found in the Chang'e 5 samples, specifically in hydrated minerals, which are salts containing water in their structure. The water found represents about 41% of the samples, which is quite significant. This finding is crucial because the researchers also ruled out the possibility of contamination from the ground or the rocket engines. After analyzing the isotopic composition of the hydrated salts, this meticulous analysis showed that the water found is genuinely lunar. In addition to water, the researchers found ammonia which may be related to the moon's hydration history, indicating complex and interesting geological processes. This discovery is especially important because, until now, the presence of water on the moon was mainly detected at the poles. The SOFIA mission, for example, found water in regions near the South Pole, but never in areas with great solar illumination. The Chang-5 samples were collected at a very different latitude, suggesting that water may be distributed across various parts of the moon, not just the poles. This may indicate that the moon has a greater capacity to retain water. Than previously thought, exploring lunar water is essential for future space exploration missions as water is a vital resource for human survival and can be used to produce fuel. Water can be extracted from these hydrated minerals through relatively simple processes. The presence of 41% water saturation within the rocks is a promising indication that these extractions can be efficient and economically viable to support long-term missions to the moon. China has ambitious plans for its space program. The goal is to send a Chinese astronaut Taikonaut to the moon by 2030, which could coincide with NASA's plans to land humans again on the moon in 2028 as part of the Artemis program. This new space race between the United States and China is heating up, with both countries investing significantly in technology and innovation to explore and potentially colonize the moon. These findings significantly increase interest in the moon, especially due to the presence of water. Lunar water is similar to that of Earth, H2OE being found along with ammonia. What about other minerals? Water on the moon is a discovery that could facilitate the creation of lunar bases, providing not only drinking water, but also oxygen and hydrogen, which can be used as rocket fuel. Now, we await the results of samples from Chang-6, which landed on the far side of the moon, if samples from that mission also reveal the presence of water. This could confirm the hypothesis that water is spread over the entire lunar surface, both on the visible and the far side. China continues to advance in its space plan, demonstrating steady and significant progress. China's space program, despite being considered slower, is meticulous and is making impressive advances. We are witnessing a new space race between the United States and China, each seeking to be the first to establish a sustainable presence on the moon. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We are together in the fight against bad scientific dissemination in Brazil. Follow our channel for more updates on the universe, space exploration, and scientific discoveries. See you next time.